Good morning, everybody. I feel like I haven't seen you in a whole month. It's been like at least five ever since Mr. Whitney has been here, but we are here today, a great day, because we have chapel, and we're going to do chapel in our pews, we're going to do chapel with our hands to ourselves, and we have a special guest artist, the artist formerly known as Miss P is here to share a little bit about Jesus with us later, but first... But first, we have to sing. And this is a song that you guys are going to have to check your brains, your memory, because we're going to go back a whole long, long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Or maybe the galaxy of our own was the beginning. And in the beginning, God made a lot of things. The forests, the seas, the mountains, the sky, and maybe even our fun little friend, the lowly hippopotami. Will you please stand up? I need everybody to stretch their right hand as high as they can. Right hand, right hand, right hand, right hand as high as you can. All right, and now your left hand. Now your left hand. All right, bring them up. Right hand in, left hand on top. Bring it in close. Deep breath. <gasps> in the beginning, God made the seas and the forests filled with trees. He made the mountains up so high, and above it all, God placed the sky. God's fingerprints are everywhere, just to show how much he cares. In between, he had lots of fun. He made a hippo that weighed a ton. Hip, hip, hippopotamus. Hip, 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 hippopotamus. Hip, hip, hippopotamus. Wow, that was lackadaisical. Slightly below invigorating. What should we do? I think we should all stand up. Put your right hand in. Put your right hand out. Put your right hand in. Do not shake it all about. But rather get to put your left hand on top. Bring it in. Deep breath. <gasps> In the beginning, God made the seas and the forests filled with trees. He made the mountains up so high and above it all. God placed the sky. God's fingerprints are everywhere. Just to show how much he cares. In between, he had lots of fun. He made a hippo that weighed a ton. hip 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 uh, just make sure you're not leaning on these. These are not leaners. These are just there to look at. They're pretty. All right. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. We can't go faster until some of us old people catch our breath. Everybody take a deep breath. Raise your right hand. Put your right hand in. Put your right hand out. Put your right hand in, and don't you dare shake it all about. Because instead, we're going to put our left hand on top. Bring it in. Deep breath. <gasps> in the beginning, God made the seas. And the forest filled with trees. He made the mountains up so high. And above it, all the places, guys, his fingerprints are everywhere. Just to show how much he cares in between. He had lots of fun. He made a hit with a weight of ton. Hip, 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 all right, um, you may quietly, you may quietly have a seat. And now we're going to call upon the artist formerly known as Miss P. You will give listening ears, listening ears, voices are off. 
And let's hear what the artist formerly known as Miss P has to share with us today. I want you to do this with me. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Can't see anything. Pretend you can't hear anything. Fold your hands. And then whisper after me. Whisper after me. God, thank you for being here. And for Mr. Whitney and his fun songs. Help us to stay cool and also to remember you. Amen. McKenna. McKenna, what are you scared of? What scares you the most? What scares you? Spiders. That's called arachnophobia. Tucker, what scares you? Bees. They can be very dangerous. Yes, yes. What scares you? A bee scares you too? Xavier, what scares you? Bees scare you too? Wow, we got a lot of scared of bees. What scares you? As long as it's not a bee. Spiders, ugh, spiders are scary. What scares you? Scorpion, they have little, have you seen scorpions? They have little like needles and they're really pokey. What scares you? Bats, ugh, they are very, ugh. What scares you? Ooh, rattlesnakes, also very scary. What scares you? Every type of fear scares you. I see that. I sometimes get scared when I have to go to the basement alone. I get scared when I'm late or when Mr. Whitney puts me on the spot or when I can't get something done and I think somebody's going to be mad at me. You can put your hands down for just a second. I'll come back to you. So lots of things scares us. But... In Psalm 28, and actually in 365, say that, 365, 365, how many of you could count that high right now? I probably could. Could you count to 365? It's a pretty big number. I think by, I think in, in kindergarten, Miss Werner does that, right? God tells us, do not be afraid. Say that, do not be afraid. Say it in your Batman voice. Do not be afraid. 365 times. That's a lot, right? That's probably more, that's definitely more times than you eat in a day. That's like one, that's like one do not fear for every single day of the year. Is that a lot? Shake your head. That's a lot. That's a lot for sure. And spiders. We had bats. We had scorpions. We had Bees, what else do we have? Storms, we had rattlesnakes. Storms is a good one. A lot of people are scared of storms. What else? Sharks and snakes and rattlesnakes. And what else? Spiders and fires and bees and falling off our bikes, right? Our world is full of fear. But another Bible verse from Isaiah says that, for I am the Lord your God who takes hold of your right hand and says, do not fear. I am here to help you. Repeat, I am here to help you. I am here to help you. One more time. Say it. I am here to help you. That's what God says when you're scared. And he says it 360 times, 65 times. Do not, do not fear. He says, do not fear. Um, he also says, he also says that we're not supposed to be scared of those things. Because we're supposed to have a spirit of, I missed it in my notes. We're supposed to have a, not a spirit of fear, but a spirit of adoption of son. Which means that we're God's sons and daughters. So he's like our dad, right? He's our father. He protects us. Um, one more point. What happens when you learn to trust him? So you're scared of the bees. God says, do not fear. And then you trust him. What happens when you trust God? Does life go peachy, thumbs up? When you trust God, thumbs up? Yeah, kind of. Hey, if you're old enough to know what listening ears mean, you should listen. You should listen. Shh. The last Bible verse I'm going to give you, it says, fear the Lord. 
for those who are lack for those who fear him lack nothing. So when you trust Jesus, you lack nothing. All right, somebody say, do not fear with me again. Do not fear. Perfect. How many times is that in the Bible? 365. So that means that we should we be scared of bees? Should we be scared of rattlesnakes? No. Should we be scared of Mr. Whitney even when he yells at us? No, we should trust him and just hug him. What's up? And bears. We shouldn't be scared of bears because we have who? We have God. Mr. Whitney, can I teach him a really song real fast? Okay. Will you stand up, please? Okay. This also has hand. We're not going to go as fast as Mr. Whitney. I bet you know this one, Mr. Whitney. All right. Here it goes. My God is so big. He's strong and he's mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. And then you clap twice. There we go. So my God is so big. He's strong and he's mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big. He's strong and he's mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big. He's strong and he's mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. And then you yell, for you. There we go. That's all I got, Mr. Whitney. Thank you for joining in my song. Thank you. You were good listeners today. And you may stay standing. We're not done yet. We're not good. We got one more song. Just like the artist formerly known as Miss P told us, we do not need to fear. But instead, we don't need to fear. We do not need to be afraid or dismayed. But rather, we can be bold. There's a song that you might know. There's a little bit of repeat, a little bit of not. But you need to remember that when we sing for the Lord... Thy God is with thee. And there's a few little dance moves in there too. Stand up. Repeat. Echo. Be bold. Be strong. For the Lord thy God is with thee. Be bold. Be strong. For the Lord thy God is with thee. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being here today. Let's give the artist formerly known as Miss P a power whoosh. I'm going to count to three and you're going to go whoosh to say thank you. Ready? One, two, three. Whoosh! 
Good job. Thank you for being here today. You will leave in a gentle and patient and quiet and calm manner. Follow your teachers. I will see you here next week.